Welcome everybody to another episode of City Skylines Unmorded with me, Iflux. And um, this is never a good thing, is it? <laughs> the forestry area burning down. It's never a good thing. But I do like the animations of the fire department and the helicopters trying to put down the fires. It's pretty cool. This game is so cool. I know, I, I probably say this often, but they, this game deserves it. Deserves all the recognition it can get, because this is an amazing game. I think the same way SimCity kind of is like a, a there's a before and after SimCity in terms of, of strategy games. I think there's also a before and after City Skylines in terms of city building games specifically, if it makes sense. Because they really, uh, SimCity, the, the last SimCity, SimCity 4 was it, I don't remember. It kind of, it wasn't a good game, you know, it was stalling the channel. It wasn't, mm, I, I don't think a lot of these type of games were coming out. And, um, well, there was like Anno series and uh, uh, that stuff. But I think City Skylines revamped this, this segment, I think, in terms of the styles of strategy games. And yeah, I like it. And these animations, they are not great, but they are good enough to give you a bit of immersion so that it kind of feels like um, real, you know? It's it's a real city. Stuff is going on. And everything is, is working, you know? You have the, the trucks, you have the helicopters, you have people. You know, it's just, yeah, it feels alive, this game. But yeah, okay. It's a, it's a bit of a... Uh, of uh, praise uh, I think was in order and I did a bit of work offline so today's episode by the way is to redecorate and fix the traffic issue that we had on the last episode so the traffic issue is fixed <laughs> I was playing with this offline just to test and uh, I liked it and, and I'm like I'm not going to delete and then record again um, because I was just really just rehearsing, I wasn't planning on saving it, and that's why I didn't record. So yeah, let's start with um, with with the way I fix the traffic issue. If you remember from the last episode, there was a lot of traffic backing up here, because the only exit they had was this one. This was the only exit. So what I did was I created two alternatives. The first one is this one. So this is an exit for the train areas so this connects to the external uh, cities and this connects to the rest of our city and then I, I created another exit for this side of the city so if trucks want to go to this side and not this side they can um, yeah they can just use this road so yeah so now instead of just having one road to exit this new industry area they have three and that seems to have fixed it. We'll see, we'll keep our eyes on it. But uh, yeah, this is so important to have multiple options there is for traffic. And especially options that don't intersect with busy roads like this, you know? And that's why I connected this ramp here because this is not a busy road. And this, this these roads are like a, a one-way road. So this kind of is like a, a roundabout kind of. So it kind of distributes traffic better without uh, causing too much issues. And look, it's working. It's working fine. So yeah, that was it. What else did I do? So I deleted a bunch of trees on this side. I didn't touch this side yet because I decided to start recording when I realized, okay, I'm not going to undo this or not say this. It was a lot of work. <laughs> so I'm just going to record now and explain what I've done. And um, yeah, so I deleted a bunch of trees and I was trying to figure out how to fill in these gaps and I was playing with the different tiles uh, are they called tiles you know in the parks for example you have these um, let me see what they are called if I can find it tiles yeah okay so I've been playing with the ground tiles uh, several ones I found and let me show you so from far away they are all yellow and that's what I did here. I put a bunch of tiles here to give this terrain kind of look, how can I say, industrial, you know, like doesn't have anything here that's 
resembles any type of nature. The only thing that really annoys me is this thing. Because it's part of the building, so I can't remove these trees. So what I'm thinking is to remove all the, let's say, nature within the buildings, but put, put trees around it. So I don't want any, I wouldn't want this, for example. I don't want anything like this. I want this to be a completely industrial area with roads and dirt, no nature within the buildings and the roads. But outside, just outside, for example, like here, in between, I think it makes a good contrast to have nature. But I don't like the color of these trees. It's too much green. It's kind of messing up my eyes. <laughs> I need to wear sunglasses to look at this. It's so bright green. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking when I put this in, but yeah. And uh, here I want to do the same, like here, I want to put tiles. So this will all be kind of this yellowish, this faint yellow or brown maybe, kind of sand looking kind of thing. All around here, not here, and then again here. And on the outside, that's where I'm going to put the trees, but it's going to be dark trees all over here. Like this color, but smaller, I don't want so big trees. Here I think it's fine here I actually might leave it and oh another thing I was thinking is to use this space to put some um, garbage collection services I think it will look cool and useful as well because here I don't know if I have a lot of garbage collection I think I plopped one building or two yeah here two. Oh wow look how many cars are parked here that's a lot of cars cool very cool yeah so so yeah so that was it i was playing with the tiles and look if i zoom out everything is yellow when i start to zoom in then you start to differentiate the different textures but yeah and the reason why i was doing this just to see how it looks so i can make a, a selection and um i think i will stick with these ones on the left hand side because they are consistently yellow regardless if you look from far or if you zoom in, this definitely not this brown. You see, it disappears if I zoom out and then reappears as zoom in. I, it breaks a bit the immersion, I think. So, so I don't like it. This one is kind of okay, but again, it it's not too bad. You see, the white kind of fades away and turns into yellow. And it's like, yeah, if it's going to be yellow, because I'm going to be looking at the city, maybe from this this distance, you know. I'm not the type of person to zoom in too, too much. Although I do like to see the animations up close and stuff like this. Especially the trains and the train station animation is pretty cool. Why are you stopping here? Hmm. That was weird. Oh, because you're wait you probably it was waiting for the other train to do its thing. Yeah, oh, and by the way, on the, I think, I, I'm not sure, but on the previous episodes or two episodes ago, I had this looping around and terminating here, uh, just for aesthetic reasons, and then I remember that this should connect to the cargo airport, so I then ended up doing this, so that it could connect, I think this was on the, on, on the previous episode, but I forgot to, to show it to you, I think. Yeah, so it could connect to the cargo airport. And yeah, it's, it's, it's because I have some demand for garbage collection service around here that I want to put some services here and connect these roads or maybe this one as well. And I think that's it. So what I'm going to do right now in a time lapse and hopefully this time I will not forget to put music really. I, I apologize. Last week for me was so busy, last two weeks. I should say, and uh, this end of the year is going to be so busy. I have so many things to do in my professional life. And also in my personal life, I'm going to move houses in the mid-November. And that's going to be a lot of work. And um, in terms of my job, I have to achieve uh, goals every year. And some of those goals are like um, achieve technical certifications, which involve a lot of study. And that's what I'm doing right now. But I need to scratch this itch of playing City Skylines, <laughs> so I need to play. But uh, you probably have noticed that um, 
the rhythm of videos is not as often as I used to do but I'm still I'm still doing three videos a week which is kind of my my goal in average that is there might be a week probably that week in November when I move uh, I think yeah, it's, it's on the 11th of November when I'm going to move so maybe that week is going not to be um, too many videos but I'll still if I see that I want to be able to record videos I will try to on that week that is I'll try to record in advance to see if I, I still can keep that average of three videos a week and yeah I like this I like this brown these brown tiles I really really like it because it's a I mean I would much rather have gray to be completely honest but um, on the vanilla game there's, there's there isn't any if 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 you think there is maybe I missed it but I was looking in a lot of places maybe not all the places and I couldn't find tiles with with other colors it is a shame because it's so nice for me <clears throat> not to have industries completely gray I don't know I don't like it as much but this kind of sandy looking view is also not too bad I don't dislike it oh and another thing so you see these trees here uh, they they really bother me and the fact that here is grass when I want everything to be this brown gray thing um, what I'm going to try to do actually let me pause this is to see if if I let me just put this building somewhere away. So if if I plop these tiles here and then put the building on top, will the building overwrite what I've done or it just be like another layer on top of this? Let me do this real quick. I'm going to do like a very fast time lapse just so I can put all these squares and we'll see the end result. Uh, why can't I come here and do this? Okay, let's see if when I move this building back if it will keep the color of the road. No, it deleted everything. <sighs> I need to put the palm trees. I hate these palm trees. I really hate these palm trees. Okay, I guess I'll have to leave it. If I look from very far away, maybe from this angle, yeah. from here I cannot see, oh, I still can't see them here, god damn it. <laughs> okay, let me pause again. Okay. I, I just, it was just a test for science. Yeah, it is very annoying though. Yeah, these trees are not too bad because they are dark. Oh, I should delete this one. Um, it's not too bad because they are dark, but these palm trees, where are they? Uh, here, these palm trees are just bad, and all this. If why why leave this empty? Yeah, who designed this building? Should have made everything gray like here. Why why leave these borders if we cannot customize them? You know. Anyway, okay. So I'm going to do another time lapse. This one a bit longer. Just because I want to delete a bunch of trees, I want to plop all these tiles, and um, and I'll be right back.
Ooh, this was a long, longer than expected time lapse, and uh, yeah, my I was getting cramps on my finger of clinking and plopping so many tiles, so I eventually gave up. <laughs> yeah, so I put some tiles here, here as well. Oh. Oh no, this is ugly. Okay, I need to put some more tiles here. So yeah, I was putting so many tiles and I, ju I just got tired. I couldn't, I just couldn't put any more. And I decided to put trees because it's still a lot of clicking, but it, it requires less precision. And in the end, um, that was the most time consuming task. Yep. And yeah, and that's what I did. Oh, I see here a part. That doesn't have the tiles, okay. Yeah, and it's had to put these darker trees, but not so, let's say, fluffy as these ones. Although, because I'd already started, I, uh, this area, I decided, okay, this area is going to be these fluffy trees, and everywhere else is going to be this more modest, more um, normal looking dark trees. And I think those dark trees look much better than the, the lettuce <laughs> that I had here. It looked like a salad. <laughs> Uh, and uh, yeah, and here I wanted to put the tiles, but yeah, like I was saying, it's, uh, I'm just tired. And I think these black trees, black trees, these dark trees look good, fit very well the theme here. And yeah, and I like it that these cars are. Oh, uh, Mr. Yacht, it's not parked very well, but uh, okay. And I like it that this is so busy with cars. I really like it. Nice, so all these people are coming here to work. Uh, yeah, not too many people parking here. That's fine. A few people parking here. I'm just looking if people are actually using the parking lots a little bit. A little bit here and there. And these, yeah, these are mostly empty. <laughs> Only one car, look at this. <laughs> Only one car in this whole parking lot. Okay. Yeah, here looks a bit empty. Ah, here, here, it's nice. Yeah, Yeah, a lot of empty, which kind of makes sense because this is a lot of parking lots here. A lot of parking lots? Mm. I, I think there's a joke somewhere there, but oh, I, I need to hide stuff. I need to hide this. Yeah, I cannot have this. So yeah, I'm doing this just for aesthetical reasons, obviously. And, um, but eventually it's just, it's just too much. I just want to make sure this part, at least since I started. Oh no, yeah, and this is another reason why I got bored of it because I couldn't really. Uh, if I put it here, it kind of overlaps the road, and here overlaps the thing. Yeah, okay, yeah. And because I couldn't do a perfect job, if I could do this perfectly, I probably would be crazy enough to spend another like half an hour or an hour or maybe more. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I think, I think almost an hour. I don't know exactly, but at least, at least half an hour, just clicking the tiles, clicking, 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 and trying to make sure that the tiles don't overlap with the roads and things, it's just, no, sorry, sorry guys, I just, I ran out of energy, but it still looks good, I wanted to have this area like this, with some grayish, brownish areas, no, let's say, life at all, and then, um, these darker trees that are not so, you know, so visually uh, distracting like those green lettuce color <laughs> kind of trees. And do we have a situation here? Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. It's just a, an ab abnormal, I think, amount of vehicles in this road, I hope. Yeah, let's yeah, let's leave it and then we see how things progress. And how are we looking around here? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, oh, wow. Really, really happy with the way this turned out to be. No traffic issues. Okay, this could be considered eventually a traffic issue, but this wasn't packing up earlier. So yeah, we'll have to see. Um, otherwise, I'll have to find a, a different way for these cars to merge. Or to this road to merge with this road, I mean. Yeah, but everything else looks fine, I think. Yeah. Really, pretty cool. Okay, let's take a look at the traffic percentage. Traffic flow, yeah. 
I don't know if you remember this was like 80 two percent I mean it's not it's not a lot but uh, when you reach um, size of uh, this population it's one two three percent is it's significant I think okay well we have problems here no, not that much okay. yeah and ha having this what I, I call buffer between the external rear wall and the internal one uh, to have this isolated from everything else it, it helped I think it really helped traffic just taking a look around see if we have issues yeah this has been an issue for a long time I need to address that eventually here it's okay yeah, it's not too bad I don't think I have yeah, I don't have major issues. I have some busy roads, but I think that's to be expected with with um, a city of this size. Yeah, but everywhere else looks nice. <laughs> Look how many cars here. Yeah, cool. Okay, this worked. I'm very happy. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I think in terms of, of aesthetics, I think this is good. Yes, could be better, but unmodded and with the, uh, the amount of patience I have uh, for uh, minor details, I think this is pretty good because yeah, I don't have a lot of patience for minor details. It looks good. Who wouldn't want to work in this awesome industry area? Come on. This is awesome. Really, really proud of this. Whew. Yeah, a lot of work, but but I think it was worthy and no traffic issues as well which is very important and I think we are going to wrap up this episode guys um, on the next episode we will probably focus on this so we still don't have a good balance yeah there's always something missing uh, balance in terms of raw materials that is there's always something missing so I need to revisit the industries yeah Yes, all is something. And then because they are not operating, you see this message here, I'm not profiting. And we cannot have that. No, we cannot. And something else I did, in case I didn't mention, is to put here some um, garbage collection services to hopefully take care of this area here and a bit of this as well. Oh, airplane. Hey, guys. Bye, guys. See ya. And talking about saying goodbye, like I was saying, um, I think we did a very good progress in this episode. I'm really happy now with the way this looks and functions. Although, yeah, we have minor, minor issues. I don't know if this even qualifies as an issue. Yeah, this is not perfect. That's what I wanted to say. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. It was worth it. It was worth it to redo all this area. And uh, yeah, on the next episode, we will then focus on figuring out the raw materials where they come from where they go um, one of the comments was saying that uh, it's it's it might be because they don't have enough uh, storage for the raw materials and i will investigate all of those things on the next episode i hope you've enjoyed this one and i'll see you again very very soon bye